For anyone who has passed by the Cooper House, it's obvious to see that it's seen its better days. Even as we toured the house, I myself was guilty of thinking, why do we want to spend so much time and money on this? But once we were able to sit down with Tom Hammond, who lived in the house, he brought the walls to life. He really showed us the importance of this house, not only to his family, but to the entire university. It is one of the last remaining landmarks of the original UK farm and is a standing tribute to the great Dean Cooper, who did so much not only for our beloved College of Agriculture, but for the entire university. Today, we would like to discuss with you our idea of turning the Cooper House into a bed and breakfast, our proposed floor plans, the financial viability of this endeavor, how we plan to incorporate staff and students into this plan, our delicious menu creations for the restaurant within, and how we plan to incorporate University of Kentucky Proud products into this unique dining experience. All right, um, on the first floor, uh, you come in at the right there, and um, immediately to the left, you have your retail section, which is a small shop, and uh, it's where you check in to the bed and breakfast. Um, across the hall is the uh, proposed dining area. Um, it's more of a public space. Um, you have the smaller uh, dining area for the guests on the uh, other side of the hallway. Um, also, the host uh, UK speakers um, with the kitchen in the back here. And then uh, up to the second floor is where the uh, bedrooms are. Um, we have uh, six bedrooms, um, uh, three baths, like, yes. and, uh, and then on the third floor, um, you have a larger uh, suite style bedrooms um, with one bathroom. So we did a little bit of local market research. Um, you'll know, you all know the University Inn across the way is probably one of the primary places people who tour the campus or come visit um, will stay. And then there are a handful of other bed and breakfasts in Lexington. Their price points are significantly higher than what we're proposing. Um, one of the ones that we pulled from was the Linden House. That's 200 to 400 a night depending on what time of year it is, what events are going on. Uh, so we're proposing $150 a night as an average price, uh, and that would be um, at a 50% occupancy rate over the whole course of the year. Uh, that's pulled from market research across the nation from Ben Breakfast. Uh, price point at the University Inn at the high end is $120, so we're offering a little bit more of a personalized experience uh, for not very much more than the University. And then our meals um, are catered more towards the students. Um, so breakfast at $7 seems pretty darn reasonable. Um, lunch at $8, dinner at $15, um, bringing in a profit of roughly $1.2 million a year. Or, sorry, income, not profit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And as I said, Dr. Scott Smith came in and spoke to our class a couple times throughout the semester. And, um, he talked about the Cooper House and different ideas he had for it, and the different directions we could possibly go with it. And uh, one, one of the biggest takeaways we got from hearing him speak was that we wanted to make the Cooper House, we wanted to have the students and faculty as involved as possible. Uh, we want there to be a connection between the Cooper House and the University of Kentucky, and in particular, the College of Ag. Um, we want students, staff, and people in Lexington and surrounding areas uh, to come in and see how their experience can be tied back to one of this city's greatest assets, which is this university. And so what we're proposing for the Cooper House Bed and Breakfast is to incorporate students from different colleges in different majors and um, have them run the bed and breakfast in this restaurant. Um, you can have the hospitality management majors um, take care of the bed and breakfast side. Uh, you can have business majors take care of the financials and the different management aspects. Um, the landscape architecture majors, they can help with the rejuvenation of the landscape and really bringing uh, the property back to life. And a potential target market 
for, or we realize that UK students make up a big part of the target market for the restaurant side of the bed and breakfast. And so we have to make ourselves appealing to these students and to ensure we get their business. And we realize that some of our price points might be a little bit higher than other on-campus dining options. And so a way to kind of offset this and combat that problem is to um, offer student discounts, offer students the ability to pay with their plus account. Uh, we could run different promotions, weekly specials that uh, raise awareness and build loyalty with different students on campus. And for the bed and breakfast, um, a potential market for, for the bed and breakfast could be people coming to visit the university, whether that's prospective employees, uh, prospective students, other um, faculty members from other universities in town for different events. Um, the bed and breakfast is not only just a way to generate more business, it's also a great way to introduce people to our university and the College of Ag. Alright, all of this sounds great, but I'm sure your next question is, what's on the menu? <laughs> we, would like to, we would like to tell the story of the Cooper House and the dishes that we serve. We would like to offer meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and so we will have three meals catered to each segment of the day. For breakfast, we would like to welcome you into our old Kentucky home, serving things such as steak and eggs, biscuits and gravy, um, bacon, sausage, ham, and ham. Our signature breakfast will be called the uh, Kentucky Sampler, Sampler, and it will have biscuits and gravy, your choice of either bacon, sausage, or ham, eggs, and fried potatoes. For lunch, our primary goal is to get you your meal quick and as, as quick and as e efficiently as possible. Um, we want you to be able to enjoy your actual lunch break and also enjoy the food. We'll be offering things like hot and cold deli sandwiches, hot dogs, and hamburgers. And we'll have chips and a drink in case you want to make that a combo. And we'll also have um, <coughs> homemade cookies for your um, lunch to for, for your lunch sweet tooth. For dinner, we would like to bring you into Grandma's kitchen. We'll be serving things such as fried fish, fried chicken, pork chops, and steak. Our signature, um, our signature dinner dish will be called the Ham and Special, and it will consist of a fried chicken meal with um, mac and cheese, corn pudding, cornbread, and greens. We thought of this idea because it was one of Mr. Hammond's favorite dishes while he, while he was living in the house as a child. And if you have room for dessert, we will want you to treat yourself to some of our apple or cherry pie. And if you're not a pie lover, we'll also have brownies and ice cream. We would like to do this by incorporating most of our meats from the local Kentucky butcher shop, and we will want to use as many Kentucky Proud products as possible. Right now, we have an idea. We've done our research, but it's still an idea. This is where we need help to turn that idea and put it into action. The Cooper House is rich in history and has a lot of potential. It used to be the landmark of this great university, and because time's passed, that's changed. I would like one day to come back to this university, stop by the Cooper House, maybe have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I want to enhance the experience of every future student at UK, the visitors, and anybody else that visits campus through the Cooper House. I think it has unlimited potential and it can and truly enhance the experience of everybody that's on campus. We preserve our past while generating a greater experience for our future guests. Thank you.